welcome everyone to my toxic cup video and this is probably my worst performance in any cup i i do a lot of mistakes and my uh, my team isn't really optimized it's like so what i do before every cup is i make a certain team and i stress test that team and after and when that when i find uh lacking um, of that team and after stressing if i face some trouble with a specific mon i adjust my team according to that specific need so that's how i make um a balanced team according to me uh, on my playstyle and my specific team, not a balanced team overall so i i think this is a balanced team overall but like I didn't have much practice with it and I do a lot of mistakes uh, with my team of threes so so first match I am against ice cube and this match is basically over so my clips are a bit of scrambled I didn't so we had to do a lot of re rematches and Ah, uh, the clips got scrambled. So I I don't think I have three videos here. I think I have two. But he he swept me three nil. So that's it. so here I make a mistake is I uh, switch to quillfish, and I should have just gotten that woman I'm low as low as possible. And here I think he will bait me with the go back. So normally quillfish can win, but because quillfish got so much confusion damage off of it. It was bad and here I realized that um, so my quilfy strat was with um, the acid spray but after the nerf I don't think acid spray is as good as it used to be you can clear the debuff if you switch um, accordingly and I think um, I think ice beam would have been better. If I had ice beam, I could have just ice beamed that cold man and that helped. So move sets and my team. I don't use pilot swine. I don't. I think I use shift you one or twice. So here I'm against this cavalier with a gold bat. This is a very hard loss for me. Now I charge up to an aerialist and I switch to my war madame. I should have switched to my uh, b barrel to catch that shadow ball. I think I did. I think I did in one of the re's I switched to B barrel and catch and caught that shadow ball but I had nothing for Steelix left. So here I, sh I should have just switched to B barrel. And I think he has his own Worma Dam in the back. I'm not sure what he has in the back. So my his steel X takes out my warm ram, but my warm ram does quite a chunk of damage there. And I switch to my B barrel. Now this is going to be a crunch. I knew this was going to be a crunch. And he goes for double crunch, and I think I need to shield that. Yes, I do. He has built up a lot of energy. I can farm him down at this ult. I don't need to use any charge moves, but I am down a shield and a mall. So this is a really uphill battle already. So he has B barrel in the back, and I get my Scavalier switch lock. So even if I had stayed in, even if I had tried to bait, he he was up a shield, so it wouldn't matter that much. So the match was basically over at this point. So what I should have done is I, sh I should have come back into B barrel and I would have had Womadam in the back and he would have switched into uh, his own B barrel I think and I would have just farmed out that B barrel with my Womadam or a Scavalier. After my B barrel went down or I should have just double shielded my B barrel and uh, double shielding my B barrel would have been good. So that's just it. Uses a hyperfang, it's um, GG. 
So round number two versus RK Shoro. I go for Womanam, Scavalier, and Be Barrel. I switch up my Wormadam for Quailfish. I am I am co com contemplating whether I should run double water or not. Because the only thing double water is weak to is uh, Leafeon and his Cavalier just wrecks Leafeon. He is running a very off meta team. And he leads Firo. This very off meta. This is the first time I'm facing Firo. And I will go for straight aqua tails. I don't need to bait or anything. Straight aqua tails would KO. Now this is why Quillfish. Um, here's the thing: Quillfish is iffy versus Womanam and a lot of other matchups. Suppose Goldbat can almost shadow ball one shot Quillfish. It, it cannot shadow ball one shot be battle. But Quillfish isn't weak to counter. Quillfish Rex is Cavalier and Heracross. And versus Toxic Rock, if you have a bit of energy advantage, you win. You can tank one mud bomb, I think, or I I don't think uh, I don't think Toxic Rock gets to a third mud bomb if you shield. So you can tank one bomb, one mud bomb, and water down Aqua Tail down Toxic Rock. He comes back into Cliffable. Always go for Aerialis or Drill Run. Mega Horn is resisted, but but if you need a bit of damage, Mega Horn. Mega Horn is just that good. Scavalier stopped here with Mega Horn. I have Wormadam in the back for his Wigglytuff. I took Quillfish here because of his Toxic Rock. I was wary of his Toxic Rock. Toxic Rock was giving me some trouble. Although I had Wormadam, but I had to use Wormadam to beat other mons and I had nothing for Toxic Rock left. So that, that's the problem. And in this team, I have uh, Wormanam and uh, Quillfish is just a very so very soft counter for Toxic Rock and the other, all other mons are weak to Toxic Rock. So those who realize that my team is to weak to Toxic Rock and go bad, um, props to you. But I am going to, um, I am going to play uh, one more cup and I hope I can cover my mistakes. He is running a drill run uh, Scavalier, so I switch to Quillfish. Now, if I had B Barrel, I wouldn't be able to switch there. His uh, Scavalier would just uh, counter down my B Barrel, but this is why I believe um, Quillfish better. It, it's debatable. It's debatable, but double waters very very viable strat. But be very wary of Toxic Rock. I really love Piloswine. I am. I have. Before this tournament, I I think I played with Shiftio once, like in in the Toxic format, and uh, lack of practice, man. Lack of practice. Comes back with the Scavalier. I tried to switch there, but my tree lagged. I was lagging so bad that day. So bad. And he has really tough in the back. I will go for an air release. And I am trying to burn his shields. He doesn't. See here, see here I got to an air release. But I don't know why my Scavalier went for another counter. Like this happens. I, this wasn't an animation delay. My Scavalier went for another counter. I have no idea why. That wasn't even a CMP tie. If that was a CMP tie, it would have been fine. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, like my internet was so terrible that day. I had to do a lot of re's and stuff. So here you are going to see how Scavalier wrecks Leafeon. You can basically counter down Leafeon if you shield once. But I don't. I I just want that Leafeon gone, or I want to burn shields. So here he comes back into his own Cavalier, and I will probably no. I don't get to an Aerialis, but I have Wormadam and Quillfish. I will come back with Quillfish now and farm down that Cavalier. Why did I come back with Wormadam? Oh, I come back with Wormadam to farm energy. 
because I know he has wiggly tough. He, he probably has wiggly tough in the back. Yes, he does. So that's why I come back in Morbana. Now he has to shield this Iron Head, or it will almost one shot wiggly tough. He shields now. I can switch to Quillfish. Now again, because of the poison subtyping, Quillfish very good versus fairies. Very very good. Bibel. Uh, the problem with Bibel is if uh, if the fairies shield only once and tank another surf, they can charm down Bibel and come out with a lot of energy but quillfish quillfish doesn't care quillfish can just go for straight um, aquatics i just let it go with basically over this aquatic is going to ko gg round number three versus sadman akib i catch his shift tree lead with my scavalier and he switches to his gold bat and i am trying to switch here i tried like Twice or thrice to switch, but I I don't know man like This was a very bad day for me my internet and like in general I Know I might sound like I'm a whining, but It just wasn't my day You know like you wake up some days and you just ain't feeling it like that. That was my day Yes so he has shift in the back, so it's basically GG. He's going to go for a leaf blade, I think. Yes, he does. Leaf blade will KO at that range. But I get to <laughs> I get to an iron head. Woman I'm so tanky. Leaf blade was um double resisted, I think. So now I can I can tank a foul play. So he goes for a leaf blade that's again double resisted and I can counter down his shift tree. He has double shields, but he has toxic rock in the back. So this this is my team's problem. So my Wormadam is down, right? And now my only counter for Toxic Rock is Quillfish. So I either should have taken Golbat or Galvantula. Galvantula very good if uh, with a bit of energy. But and again, I lagged there, and I could have gotten off that aqua tail. Yes, if I could have uh, gotten off that shield, this was uh, basically GG. But I, I, I didn't even call for a rematch because I was, I, I basically gave up at this point. I, I know, I know, like I shouldn't do that. Like I should keep playing and see what happens, but. So again, mud bomb. He goes into gold bat. This is good. Now again, I I think I should run um, either ice beam or fell stinger. Ice beam would one almost one shot gold bat in that head. And the thing about quillfish is people don't know what set you're running. Quillfish has multiple sets. So one is um, the aqua tail fell stinger set, aqua tail ice beam set. Um, I am running um, acid spray, but Acid spray not as good. I even saw uh, a guy named Toshi run sludge wave set. He went, I think, five and one with it. I'm I'm not sure, but don't quote me on this. But he did find success with a sludge wave fish. So I um I can just confusion down his go back. He has shift in the back. So I'm con contemplating if I sh should shield that. And he goes for a little bit. I think that doesn't care. Yes, it doesn't. And I go for a bug bus. Now, if you're if you're not counting, bug bus will one shot. Yes, it does. And now again, again, I have a scavalier and my Wormadam is down. He will get to another mud bomb. So scavalier. Can beat Wormadam, that's a very, very big plus point of Scavalier over Toxiroak, but it loses to Toxiroak. So, I don't know. So, I, uh, I think he won game number 3 2. So, um, this is round number 4, I think, yes. So, I am facing Golbat, I am 
I am lagging so much. And I go for an A release. And I switch to B barrel. And he switches into his cavalier. So. He goes for an A release. I have Pylos Fine and a Scavalier. So my only only play here is taking a Scavalier. So here's the thing, like that, here's what I was talking about. My my team selection was terrible. Very terrible. And I do get off an A release. Now my this Scavalier is very high ranked. It's ranked 100 something, so it has very low attack. So I don't usually win CMP. Yes. And he he's running a drill run set. Interesting. If uh, but the thing about drill run set is if you're running drill run mega horn, you don't have a uh, bait. And if you're running um, drill run a release, you get wild drill run mega horn. You get like walled by Gobat, and also you don't have like a bait. So the only utility for release is that you have a bait move, and because of that bait, you win quite a lot of matchups. Here, I don't shield. I don't know if this is going to be a poison fang or shadow ball. It is a shadow ball, and it almost one shots my pile. So I really should have shielded there, and I should have. Try to powder snow down that gold back. Powder snow does quite a bit to gold back, gold back, not the tankiest of mobs. Game number two, I lead Quillfish into his Scavalier. This, this is why Quillfish over B Barrel. Quillfish gang. Quillfish just wrecks a Scavalier, but he is running drill run. So I kept that in mind that he his um, Scavalier is drill run. I have to shield that drill run or it will one shot my um, quillfish and again I have nothing for his gold bat so here I what I should have done is I should have taken um, Piloswine or Womadam instead of this Cavalier all my whole team was very uh, bait dependent and soft very soft and very RPA based so I lost most of the matchups where I lost lead. I didn't have much of a safe swap. I didn't have much of a outplay. I did, uh, I do outplay um, in some matches, but I don't know if the clips got re rematches or lost. This, my uh, video is mess. So again, I go for an A release. And he just farms me down. This is bad. He has gold bite with energy. And I have quillfish. And remember, he has a scavalier in the back. So, <laughs> and I have shift in the back. So, man. Oh, oh, it hurts, man. It hurts. But I am up a shield. So, let's see what he has. Uh, he comes back with a crustle. This is bad for him. And bad for me, Crustle can just um, figure down my shift tree because shift tree is four times weak to bug because of the dark and grass subtyping. And he might bait me, I don't know, I, I can't count figure. So he goes for a rock slide, I call off the bait. And the, the next aqua tail is going to KO his. Uh, Russell. So I shield. He goes for an Exceder. And I s and we both switch at the same time. And I think I get to a foul play. Yes, I get to a foul play. I think that was a CMP tie. That was probably a CMP tie. 
That's why I have to press multiple times. Yes, it was a CMP tie. So if if you're having a CMP tie and your moms do a, an extra fast move, it's fine. The game is calculating who gets CMP or not. But without a CMP tie, if if your mom delays you, unless it's a very like um, three or four turn fast move, I don't know. This Aquatel is going to KO his cousin. This team is bad. This team is very bad. So I should have I should have switched this team, but um, I, I gave up. Okay, I gave up. Okay, let's see. I'm leading Shiftry into his goal bad. Hard loss. I I don't think I have anything to go bad. Oh, I have um, B Barrel, but his goal bad will go for a poison fang. It doesn't need to land the shadow ball. Just Cheat Poison Fang, pull that things. He goes for a Poison Fang. And he comes back into his Cavalier. Now this is why Quillfish is better. And uh, he shields. Although I'm up a shield, but... I should have switched to a fish back there and try to catch up that poison fang. If I did, it would have been huge. But still, I, I don't think it would it would matter that much because my team comp not looking so good. So I do uh, shield correctly the drill run, and I do not know what that is. So I shield, it's probably going to be an air release. It is an air release. That was quicker. And I, I, so here's the thing, like you don't get to see that in the, in the clips, but in reality, my, my screen, my frame drops suddenly, like out of nowhere, it drops and I miss the faster accounting. So I don't know if my frame dropped or the whole game lagged. I don't know if my opponent got a fast move off or not. So I haven't been able to count really good. Like while I'm while I'm editing this, I can I can clearly see how many fast moves my opponent got. But when I'm actually playing the match, when my, when the frame drops, I lose count. So this puts me at a huge, huge disadvantage. So if I do call off your bait sometimes and I'm not, it's probably because um, it's probably because I guessed correctly, not because I I was able to count exactly how many fast moves you got. So that's it. And round number six. I'm already. I have already lost three matches. Round number six versus Sam forty-seven. Uh, he again. He is running a very off-meta team with Munchlags and Fortress. Very off-meta. But the thing about them is they beat one of them. So I didn't know before the match. I I I got to know this after the tournament. So Quillfish very good versus Fortress, B Barrel not so much, but Quillfish very good because it resists the um, bug bites and that was too fast for an earthquake. So he goes for a mirror shot. Now I haven't really tried mirror shot for Fortress myself. I have to try that and I don't know its matchups that will do. But I do know is um, Fortress has uh, heavy slam, rock tomb. And earthquake so I need to be wary of that earthquake look how many times I try to switch just look I think that was four times yes four four times I'm trying to catch that aqua day and I don't and I have to shield that because I have a lot of energy so stored I didn't know that was going to be an acid spray or aqua deal I had to shield that AJ here did you see did you see how my frame dropped that was me. That was my opponent. So, 
when I'm uh, when I'm with a mon with one turn fast move. Suppose it's it's very fast, right? So one or two more fast moves and I get off a charge move. But just at that split second when my frame drops, I don't get off a charge move, my opponent does. Even if I if I was going to get CMP, I don't because my frame drops. So I am getting the energy, but no, I I don't think I get I don't even think I get the energy. Yes, I I don't I don't get the energy even. So he is running a sand tomb fortress. So here my switch tray is almost up, and I do not want him to farm down my B barrel. So I think I'm probably going to sh uh, switch. Yes, I do. I'm going to switch into his Cavalier and counter down his Fortress. But he switches into his Golbat. This is good for me. I can come back into Quillfish. But again, Quillfish not a uh, Acid Spray not working out for me, man. So I go for an Air Release. These counters are double resistant. They do nothing to Golbat. And I have to shield that. I think he baits me there. Yes, he does. He baits me. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. So, uh, I go for an air release. And he, he will go for This is going to be a shadow move. But his gold bed is so low, I can just um, farm down with my quillfish. But I come back into rebel for some reason. I think my quillfish is low. And he burns his energy there. This is huge for me. This is huge. I don't think I would have gotten off that fast move. Charge move. But I think he thought that I will get off a charge move. I was pretty close. So because he threw that mirror shot, I get I get to use the charge move on my quillfish. And I take um, the game. So, GG. Match number 3 versus I. Uh, this is a bad lead. So, again, I I will try to charge up to a charge move and I try I will try to catch um, the Aqua Tail. And even if this is an acid spray, it's absolutely fine. He goes for an Aqua Tail. This is uh, very good for me. I have my shields and I have extra energy on my B barrel. And I should have, I here I should have tried to bait him because uh, the hyper fang is very bait dependent. If you land the bait, you win. If you don't, I don't think you win. But versus quillfish, it's, it's probably fine. Now he is in surf range. I don't think I have to, I need to heal that. He goes for another aqua team and he switches. He switches into fortress. This is very good for me because I j I will go for surf neutral damage and his fortress fortress does get off um, some energy. But now I have a scavalier and I go for air release. Now mirror shot sand tomb. Don't care, his cavalier doesn't care. He goes for a mirror shot. And I go for an alias. I, I don't know if you guys are hearing it or not. But we have a lot of birds. I am staying at my grandma's place during the quarantine period. And we have a lot of birds here in our veranda. So they are, they are making a lot of noise. Um, I apologize for that. So I get, I barely get off any release. I have played multiple matches where at that split moment my frame dropped and I didn't get the release of when my mom, mom died. Especially in GBL, it's so bad, man. But I'm up two shields. Uh, this is going to be a poison fang. I correctly call off the bait. 
and he switches into his own quillfish and I don't know what this is so I shield and it's an acid spray I, I shouldn't have shielded that I should have just let it go because if that was an acid spray the ne I have to shield the next aquatic right so if that was an acid spray I would have shielded the next aquatic but I do take down his quillfish and he has gold that but I am up a shield So this aquatel isn't going to be again if I had ice beam there I would have shielded that shadow ball and I would have charged up to an ice beam and just straight ice beam. Yeah. He goes for a poison fang bait. I think poison fang would KO Quillfish at that range. It was very debuffed. And he wins with a slither of HP. Now I am leading Wormadam into his Fortress. This is bad. Fortress actually wins versus Wormadam. And again I tried to switch there. It didn't switch. Now I have to switch. And he knows I am going to switch. So he is... Oh, Niantic, please fix. Please fix the bugs. And did you see how many uh, water guns did I miss? I basically he basically got <laughs> I switched first and he basically got off an aqua deal before me. I had a way energy advantage because my bell was sitting there. But so if you're facing lag, so this is what you should do. You shouldn't quit the match. I do I think I quit one match in this cup that I got very pissed during that match and that was uh, bad of me. But don't follow me. If you are facing lag, always record your matches, and that serve did nothing. Did nothing to this cool fish, and he didn't even shield. Good job. So what you should do is you should play out that match and see what the outcome is. If you lose, and if you think that you would have won if not for the lag, then you can just post that specific clip of your lag. Into your community, into uh, show it to your admin, and you can call off a rematch. Don't do it always. So here, I think I do win this match even with the lag. So don't call off uh, re's instantly and stop tapping. A lot of people do that, and don't don't do that. And he is going to switch into fortress. I am not going to shield that. I am going to switch into my quillfish. I am down a shield. And I do not shield that. It's going to be a mirror shot. I call off a mirror shot bait. I go for an aqua tail because I, I could have gone for an acid spray though. I think he is probably going to shield that. Yes, he is. I, sh I should have gone for an acid spray. But I will get off an aqua tail sooner because aqua tail is 35 energy only. And aqua tail, way, way better. And he has what? Go bad in the back? He has a gold light in the back. So I am contemplating if I should shield that or not. That was a correct call. It was for a poison fang. I get off a aqua tea. So if I had shielded there, it would have been it would have been GG there. I do get off and I think uh, he doesn't shield. But at this hilt I can confusion down a little bit. And just shield once. So poison fang or not, I was going to shield that anyways. Because at this health, I have just two more confusions. And he tried to <laughs> I think he tried to catch my charge move there. 
because he thought that I would go for a charge move. But if you are in this in that specific case, don't go for a charge move. Just fast move your opponent down. That way you get get up one extra fast move. So versus Asir twenty six. Whoa, this clip is very fast. I think I think I messed up my editing there. He goes for uh, SS print and I go for um, surf bait. I do get a bait and I will go for a hyper fang now. Now I do need to shield that because my B barrel is debuffed and this aqua deal is going to I, I don't know if it's going to one shot or not but it's going to do a lot. I get off a hyper fang, he double shields his quillfish. So now his quillfish is surf range. So I think he tried to um, water gun me down and come out with a lot of energy. But he was down a shield, so he didn't have any shield, so that was um didn't turn out too good for him. Now this Telix is Thunderfang. Thunderfang Steelix Spice, but I don't think it's better than um, Dragon Tail Steelix because I save my uh, um, shield and I go for an aerialist. This aerialist is nearly KO that on Fazan. It does. And now I have another shield. Now, if I had shielded that, if I had shielded my quillfish, I wouldn't have shield to. I wouldn't have any shield for this crunch. And quillfish was weak to uh, Silex, anyways. So here, drill one would have been better. But resisted, did you see how much that resisted Mega Horn did? Now this time I am leading B barrel into Pinsir. This is a Fury Cutter and Pinsir has close combat. So I switch to my Quillfish and I will catch that close combat. See how much damage it does. It does about what 50% damage. Close combat is huge man. Like it's one of the like the most nuke moves in game. And it did like 50% to pull fish. <laughs> if that was Bibarel or Scavalier, it would have almost one shot them. So now I can farm down his T-Rex. Shield wants farm now. I do shield here. I do not know the count of Thunderfang. How many Thunderfangs to an earthquake, but I, I would have shielded that anyways. And I have a lot of energy now. And switch advantage. So he has Unfazant in the back and I switch to my rebarrel and he switches into his pincer. This is great. Pincer is um, neutral to water and it just KOs pincer and now he has to shield that surf. I go for a shield because I in in my mind I am thinking that my Escavalier is going to win the bait. Or I can water gun down that Unfazant. But but it, it, it turned out great. It turned out all right. So I think um, the, the previous evolution, Tranquil is better than Unfazant be only because of heat wave. It gets heat wave and Unfazant gets what? It gets Sky Attack, Sky Attack, Brave Bird, not sure. But Tranquil, um, it's, it's all right. I could also try Swallow, but I, I have I really want to power up this uh, shiny Swallow. So here's the thing: Swallow, um, Ash had a Swallow, right? Um, in during his um, Gen three run, and like I clearly remember when his Swallow first learned the move Aerialis, and that episode I got so hyped from that episode, man. So whenever I played Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire, I would always pick Swallow, and I will always. <laughs> TH8 Aerialis as fast as possible. I think you would get um, a T an Aerialis TM in the 4th four, four gym. I think. Um, don't quote me on this. But I think and I would always teach that. And I would run the whole game swallow. And I would run no other flyers. Like I, I loved Crobat alright. Like Clo Crobat is, um, if you guys didn't know, Crobat is a very favorite one of mine. But I would always run swallow. So I have this shiny swallow in Go that I really want to unlock. But the, un the unlock isn't the issue. The issue is the power ups. So it's going to cost about 120,000 dust 
to power up that swivel. And I do not know if that's worth it. Like, I can do it for nostalgia or the old time's sake, but... Man... I'm very tempted. Very tempted. But, um, Swilo gets a uh, wing attack and sky attack. Wing attack, arguably, uh, the best, um, flying fast move there is. And again, he, he tried to, um, get, uh, his squill fish into an air release. So that's why you always, um, charge one or two moves more than your charge move. And that was basically it. Uh, I know I didn't um, perform as um, many many expected, but I feel like I learned a lot of things from this tournament, and I'm going to try to keep my temper and my composure intact. And I hope, and I will try to do better in my next cup. So. Hope to see you guys again in my next cup. Uh, this is the one of it. Signing out.